the year with the Toronto Blue Jays and finishing well. He leads the majors with eight complete games, two more than Zach Frankie. He enters the night third in the American League with 230 innings pitched. Wakefield on the other side making his 11th start of the season at home tonight where he is 7-0 with a 3.65 ERA. You wonder about the postseason for Wakefield. 0-2 against the Angels this season in two starts with an ERA up over 8. We welcome in Jerry Remy. And Jerry, what does the start mean tonight for Tim Wakefield? Well, it could be a very big start. You know, it really is a shame what happened to Wakefield this season because he was having a terrific year before that disc problem cropped up on him. And, you know, we've seen him really struggle to get, getting around. I mean, he's able to pitch, but he's not able to move very well. And, you know, Wakefield would love, obviously, to be in that postseason roster. But the, the question is, are they going to be able to carry him? Now, we know that his knuckleball can be effective. If he can stay away from the pain, there's a possibility he will be on the roster. That roster won't be decided probably until the Red Sox get to Anaheim the day before the game. So, uh, I guess all the stocks are very big for the starters the rest of the way out to see how they're going to line up for the playoffs. But it'd be a shame to see the elder statesman of the Red Sox not on the roster. Well, he's matched up tonight against Roy Halladay, who lifetime is 13 and 14 against the Red Sox. We're back with the first pitch from Fenway after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. Boston Red Sox baseball in Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, your New England Dodge dealer, Hess, 
Lexus Dealers of New England. Olympia Sports Officials Morning Gear Retailer of the New England Sports Network. And by Toyota's official website for deals via Toyota.com. Welcome back to Chili Fenway Park. It is cooled off fall like as you might imagine on this September the 30th. The Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays wrapping up their three game series. The Red Sox have taken the field, so let's check out the Toronto Blue Jays starting nine. Jose Batista has had a very good series in right field, leading it off with Aaron Hill in second base. It is Kevin Millar at third base, batting third. Vernon Wells in center with Lyle Overbay at first base. Rod Barajas does the catching. But Randy Ruiz as the DH. Travis Snyder, he's in left field, batting eighth. And John McDonald at shortstop, bats ninth. On the mound for the Red Sox tonight is Tim Wakefield. We last saw Wakefield uh, at Kansas City in his last start, but 20 starts on the season, 11 and 4, the 4.33 ERA. He has logged 126 and two thirds innings, and the opponent hitting at 264. As I mentioned, last time out against the Royals, a no decision going five innings, giving up four earned runs. Wakefield is 17 and 12 against Toronto. The Red Sox defense tonight will have Jed Lowry at third base, Alex Gonzalez the shortstop, Chris Woodward at second, and Casey Cotchman at first. Left to right, Josh Reddick, Joey Gath right, and Rocco Baldelli, and George Kataris doing the catch in for Tim Wakefield. Umpire and crew tonight, Mike DeMiro has got the plate with Dale Scott, the crew chief at first base, Jerry Meals at second base, and Ron Copa is the umpire at third. Jose Batista stands in on the right side, and the first pitch of this one drops down low for ball one. Underway tonight from Fenway Park, where the Red Sox have clinched a wild card. Ball's been decided the American League, with the exception of the Tigers and Twins battle in the American League Central. Terry Francona back with the club. As this one drops in there for a strike, and it's one and two. He's away at his son's graduation. His son Nick is now a Marine. And Terry Francona back early this afternoon. This one is on the ground to shortstop. Gonzalez to his left. Throw is in the dirt, but dug out nicely by Kochman for the first down. We're available. This telecast can be heard in Spanish by selecting the SAP button on your television remote. Enjoy the game. Buenas noches, amigos. Mentioned a little bit on the chilly side tonight. 53 degrees, about 13 degrees cooler than it was last night. Left to right goes the wind at 11 miles per hour. Well, down here in the first inning, Aaron Hill, part of the barrage of home runs put together by the Blue Jays in this series. He's got 36 on the years. He lifts a fly ball to right field. Rocco Baldelli makes the catch for out number two. And as you can see by the Red Sox starting lineup after clinching last night and getting into the wild card, a few guys got a day off today. Redick in left field. You got Joey Gaffrey in center. So there are two down here in the first inning. Jed Lowry at third base tonight. Woodward at second base. So you got Pedroia off. You get Euclid off. And there for strike one to Kevin Millar. Batting from the three spot for Toronto. Our 222, seven homers, 29 runs batted in. Millar in that three spot because he's had great success against Wakefield. 419 with four career home runs. Side for ball two, two and two. That is the key matchup, which is brought to you by New England Honda dealers. 419, 13 for 31 for that 419. Forty-first career start against the Blue Jays for Tim Wakefield. It is tops among active pitchers. And he petted his next at 39. He walks. Kevin Millar with two outs here in the first inning. Yeah, Tim Wakefield this season one and one and two starts against Toronto, 17 and 12 lifetime against Blue Jay teams. Hey, 
two down, Millard first base, and here's Vernon Wells heading out of the cleanup spot again tonight at 262, 15 homers, 66 runs batted in. To left field, Josh Reddick going back. This one will be off the wall as Reddick plays the carom. Millar heads for third. Throw to second base it is going to be close, but it gets away. Good throw, and they got a chance to get Wells. And he takes second on the wall ball double. Well, Vernon Wells now with a mini four game hitting streak. Uh, that high throw to second base, you're right, Don, had been on the money. Maybe a chance that he would have been thrown out at second base. High knuckle by that time, about let a high. Is that big bounce to Reddick, but the high throw to second base, and Vernon Wells slides in safe with a double. So all of a sudden, with two down, second and third for Lyle Overbay. In there for strike one. Overbay at 269, 15 homers, 61 runs batted in. Last 13 games, he's hit at 356. Alar, who drew a two out walk at third base, Vernon Wells, who doubled at second. Field trying to get out of early trouble here in the first inning. Swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Good knuckleball that time from Wakefield. Started out away and then just dropped. Didn't really run away from Over Bay, but it just kind of dropped right out of the strike zone. In the dirt, guitarist able to grab it for ball three, full count. Victor Martinez catching Tim Wakefield on a couple of different occasions, but this time it is George Kataris, his normal catcher from the regular season with the rosters expanded. A walk here for Overbay, and down to first base he goes. Second walk of the inning allowed by Tim Wakefield. Games that I saw, Don, uh, Victor Martinez looked like he did a good job catching Tim Wakefield. He did. I think only one pass ball during the entire exchange, yep. two starts. Bases loaded two down here in the first inning, and Rod Barajas does the catching tonight for Toronto. 231, 19 homers, 71 runs driven in. He is fifth in the majors and fourth in the American League in RBIs for catchers. So he comes in with 71 runs batted in. He's a free swinger, too. He's only walked 19 times on the season. Third base, Wells at second base, Overbay at first base, two down. Ball three, three and oh. And all of a sudden, the Blue Jays are being patient with Tim Wakefield. Barajas may have the green light here, three and oh, thinking that Wakefield may throw a fastball. Does throw a fastball, but Barajas takes it. On deck is Randy Ruiz. Three one to Barajas to left field. Reddick going over to make the catch. Out of the jam in the first is Wakefield. James leave him loaded. Red Sox coming up.
field with Josh Reddick in left, Casey Cotchman in first base. David Ortiz at DH in the cleanup spot with Rocco Baldelli in right field. George Guitarist doing the catching with Alex Gonzalez at shortstop batting seventh. Jed Lowry's at third base eighth, and Chris Woodward at second base. That's the ninth Red Sox lineup brought to you by New England Chevy Dealers. Roy Halliday on the hill tonight for the Blue Jays. Comes in with a 16 and 10 mark, 2.90 ERA. He's logged 230 innings on the year. His opponent's hitting at 261 against Halliday. A victory against the Mariners last time out. Eight complete games, nine inning effort last time out. As Joey Gathright leads it off for the Red Sox and takes strike one over the inside corner. Right now, Halliday third in the league in ERA behind Greinke and Hernandez. First in complete games and fifth in strikeouts. His eight complete games, two more than Zach Greinke on the year. And of course, it appeared destined that Halliday would be somewhere other than Toronto as we headed towards the trade deadline this season. Didn't happen. Still. Made during the offseason, but they make the deal a tougher thing for the Toronto Blue Jays having waited. But Halliday has continued to pitch pretty well, 16 win season for him. Look at his career mark from the Cy Young Award winner. Down the left field line and foul. Well, Joey Gathright said a lot of at bats, 16 at bats against Halliday. He's one for 16. Back towards the mound, Halliday fields and throws, and Gathright is out number one. The Toronto defense will have Kevin Millar at third base, John McDonald the shortstop, Aaron Hill at second, and Lyle Overbay at first, left to right. Travis Snyder, Vernon Wells, and Jose Batista. Rod Barajas doing the catching for Halliday. Second in the American League in defense, 74 errors on the season. One down for Josh Reddick. Getting the start in left field for the Red Sox tonight. And taking strike one. It's a surprising number of them all for Halliday. You think of the success that he's had, but he is under 500 against the Red Sox. He's 13 and 14 lifetime with a 4.43 ERA. This is the 38th start he's made against the Red Sox, 40 career games. And here at Fenway Park, he's only 5 and 9. Reddick goes around and strikes out first K for Halliday, two down. Halliday had nine strikeouts in his last outing against the Seattle Mariners, a game that he won 5 nothing. Third ball this time for the strikeout against Reddick. We get Reddick to chase a high fastball, comes back with a breaking ball down. Two down for Casey Kochman, 224, home run, seven runs batted in. In the three spot tonight for the Red Sox. Halliday has that great control, just very seldom walks anybody. Only 33 walks this inning this year in 230 innings. This is away for ball two, two and one. Last year, 20 game winner, second time in his career. On the ground, softly right side. Flip to Halliday for the out that ends the inning. A one, two, three first for Halliday. Done with one, no score from Fenway.
Scoreless says we head to the second inning. And Randy Ruiz leading it off for the Blue Jays. Ruiz, Snyder, and John McDonald have faced Tim Wakefield. Get out of it. Base is loaded, two out jam in the first inning. Ruiz, the DH tonight, who totes a 276 average, seven homers, 14 runs batted in. A couple of walks in the first inning for Tim Wakefield. Wakefield in his outing last time out at Kansas City, a season high seven walks for Tim Wakefield. It was so unusual to see. Oh, drops in there for strike two. Can't help but think that uh, things are not completely right health wise, and that's part of the reason still that all the walks for Tim Wakefield. Diving at third base as Jed Lowry picks himself up to throw off the mark and Kochman misses the tag. He was by him when he tried to swipe him with the tag. It's a hit for Ruiz. Well, nice first part of the play here by Jed Lowry diving to his left, but when he comes up, the throw, the ball's going to sail right up that first base line. And by the time Kochman gets it and swipes the tag, he's not going to be able to get Ruiz, who was hustling all the way down that first base line. So the hit for Ruiz, and here is Travis Snyder. Snyder, 236, nine homers, 27 runs batted in. So far, the Blue Jays have been among the most patient teams we've seen against Tim Wakefield this season. They've been taking a lot of pitches, walked twice in the first inning. They haven't been patient in this series, though. They've been no. swinging a lot of first pitches. This one is swung on and lined into right. Hooked into right by Snyder. And the first two have reached for the Jays here in the second. Yeah, fastball that time from Wakefield. 71 miles an hour and hooked into right field by Travis Snyder. That ball on the outside part of the plate. Rolls those wrists over and pulls it in the gap. Two on, nobody out, and John McDonald, the batter, batting out of the ninth spot, 235. Three homers, 10 runs batted in. The bunt bid down the first baseline. And a flip to first for Kochman. They get McDonald. Sacrifice credited to John McDonald. Hell, the Blue Jays getting a couple of men in the scoring position. Nice job by McDonald. You see Wakefield having a tough time getting over to try to make that play. Kochman has to make it. They do get the out at first base. Sacrificing is not something Toronto does very much. They're 12th in the league. The Red Sox 13th in the league and Baltimore last in the league as far as sacrifice attempts. So second and third one down for Jose Batista. And drops in there for strike one to Batista. Too quickly ahead, 0 and 2. Well, the Twins out to the 2 0 advantage over the Tigers. They're in the bottom of the first inning from America Park in Detroit. Just two games between those two teams as they split a day night doubleheader yesterday. Darts down and away, 1 and 2. He's at third base, Snyder at second base. Wakefield has been pitching through trouble here in the first two innings. The Jays had the bases loaded in the first. Now they have two in scoring position here in the second inning. And facing Batista, who right now is on a five-game hitting streak.
I'm in a good category for Batista. Chop to third base. Lowry looks to first and throws in that direction low with Kochman able to dig it out. From third base, Randy Ruiz scores the game's first run as the Blue Jays take a one nothing advantage. Kochman with a nice play at first. Actually saved Jed Lowry an error here. Kind of a, a routine ground ball to third base. Lowry has to back up one step, but then the throw's going to be in the dirt. And Casey Kochman able to pick it as the run comes in behind him. That was a tough hop, too. Aaron Hill, first pitch swinging, fouls it off. Flight out to right field in the first inning, 0 for 1. Field coming into tonight's action 11 and 4, 4.33 ERA. In there for strike two, one and two. And field has given up three hits one to Wells, one to Ruiz, one to Snyder. Line in the left field. This will get down for a hit as Snyder comes around from second base to give the Blue Jays a 2 0 advantage. Will be a single for Aaron Hill. It's 2 0 Toronto. Aaron Hill now has 106 RBI in the season. Got a high knuckleball that time from Wakefield and shoots it down in that left field corner. Quite an offensive season for the Blue Jays second baseman. First base, two down. Here's Kevin Millar. Walked his first time up. Strike one to Millar over the inside corner. Field. Josh Reddick comes in a step and makes the catch and ends the inning. But the Blue Jays get a pair of runs, lead it 2 0.
Back at Fenway, 2 0. Blue Jays on top of the Red Sox. David Ortiz, Rocco Baldelli. George Katar is to bat here in the second inning. And getting hit is David Ortiz. And right. that's, that's retaliation for last night. When Adam Lynn got hit by Jonathan Papelbon. No question about that. Last night, Papelbon, Adam Lynn had three home runs in the game, gets hit. The Blue Jays obviously thought that was intentional, and as soon as Big Poppy gets up tonight, first time, the guy with great control gets him right off the elbow. So even according to the Jays, as David Ortiz at first base, Rocco Baldelli the batter. Obviously, now have been warned after that uh, hit batter by Roy Halladay. Baldelli grounds it right side. Aaron Hill will go to second for one on to first, not in time. Baldelli digs it out. Set it down to Heidi. Well, Don, as you mentioned, Adam Lynn had three home runs last night and then was hit by the first pitch Jonathan Papelbon threw to him. And I asked him today before the game if he thought that hit by pitch was intentional. Uh, you know, who, who knows? Uh, Jonathan knows what, what, whether it was or not. But, you know, I think he was just trying to, you know, hit the top of the top top uh, top of the zone and the inner part of the plate so uh, you know like I said last night you know two inches I mean it was only a matter of two inches from it and not hitting me so that's how close you know for people at home how close you are to home plate and you know how far uh, sometimes the ball can hit you or how much it might miss you by now the Blue Jays obviously feeling he did as the reaction today you take a look at the Red Sox lineup there's no doubt I mean, look at the guys that are in there who you're gonna hit the only regular really in the lineup tonight is David Ortiz Great control of Roy Halliday, and he does hit Ortiz to begin this inning. The catcher Barajas back to make the catch and foul ground on Kataris with the second out of the inning. Yeah, the Blue Jays are pretty convinced last night that Papel Bond did it on purpose. I didn't think so at the time, and I still don't think so, but apparently the Blue Jays did, and they took care of their business here tonight against David Ortiz. So two down, Baldelli at first base, and if we keep it scored, it appears to be even. Alex Gonzalez in there tonight, batting in the seven spot. Baldelli takes off, the pitch is strike, and Rocco at second is safe. First stolen base of the season for Rocco Baldelli gets a very good jump off Roy Halladay. Barajas very good throwing catches thrown on 30 percent but to the head first slide beats it for Rocco.
to right field. Jose Batista is over to his right, and then he'll get there to make the catch that ends the inning. Red Sox lead ball, Belly in second. Toronto on top, 2 0. Ground ball to deep third, diving is Lowry. Trying to get Wells at first, can't do it. Throws from one knee. Yeah, Vernon Wells beats it out. Lowry's had all kinds of action down there at third base already tonight. Yeah, he's probably saying, how about a couple of just routine ground balls for a change? This time he has to dive going to his right and couldn't get very much on throw at all, throwing from one knee. Vernon Wells two for two, double and a single. Runner on Lyle Overbay, the batter, walked in the first inning. For strike one and one. one lays down the right field line around the pole and that ball is gone two run home run for Lyle Overbay his 16th of the year and the Toronto Blue Jays out to the four nothing advantage after all the home runs last night the first of tonight Overbay came into the game a 286 hitter against Wakefield walked back in the first inning now hits this line shot right around the pole down in right field Hear the knuckleball from Wakefield again. It stays about thigh high, and Overbay with the line drive home run. Uh, Barajas takes a hack at the first pitch, fouling it off. The action in the Red Sox pen right out of the gate here with this two run shot. As Barajas fouls it off to the right. 
Fernando Cabrera is up, the right hander for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. Barajas down on strikes. First strikeout of the night for Tim Wakefield. Want to earn awesome rewards just by using your Dunkin' Donuts card? With the Dunkin' Donuts perk programs, you can do it. Register your card at dunkin'donuts.com slash score. One down for Randy Ruiz. With a swing and a miss. Ruiz reached on the infield hit first time up. Jackson out towards deep right field. Back goes Baldelli at the wall. That ball is gone. Into the bullpen. Second home run of the inning for the Blue Jays. Eighth of the year for Ruiz and a 5-0 Blue Jays lead. How many home runs have the Blue Jays hit in this series? Ruiz showing some opposite field pop this time for the home run. So a three run third so far a five run lead for the Blue Jays and Travis Snyder coming up. Two and two. Chops it foul outside of first, hangs at two and two. In the dirt, full count. Jam to pop up. Back goes the shortstop Gonzalez. And he makes the catch it back pedaling into left for the second out of the inning. Hey, Sox fans, remember every game night at midnight to tune in to Nesson for Sox and 2. It's the Sox latest matchup replayed in a convenient two hour format. Sox and 2 is presented by Ace Tickets. Tickets are available for all games. Ace Ticket has your seats. John McDonald batting with two down in the inning. A three run inning for the Toronto Blue Jays so far. Five run lead. Strike two, two and two. Look out. That one gets away. McDonald hit. It was the knuckleball at 62, so not retaliation there. Down the first goes McDonald with two down. You know, because if the umpire thought so, he'd be throwing Wakefield out of the game right now. 
Right off the back, right off the McDonald on the back of John McDonald. The two down, McDonald at first base, and Jose Batista, the batter, is 0 for 2. As it takes strike one, he's grounded out to short, grounded out to third. Field pitching here in the third inning has already thrown 73 pitches. In the dirt, Kataris can't knock it down and take it second base is John McDonald. Now pitch charge to Tim Wakefield. Tara sliding to his right but can't make contact with the baseball gets by him all the way to the screen and the Jays have a man in scoring position. Strikes out Batista ends the inning, but the Jays scored three times and lead it five nothing. How many home runs do they have in this series? Anybody have any idea? Seems like a hundred. Back at Fenway with the Blue Jays have a 5 nothing advantage over the Red Sox. They get two in the second, three in the third. Red Sox trying to go to work here in the third. Jed Lowry, Chris Woodward, and Joey Gathright. Tough task tonight dealing with Roy Halliday and trying to come back in the game. On the ground right side ranging is Hill goes on to first to retire Lowry. Let's check back in with Heidi. Well Don the Red Sox celebrated around one in the morning when they found out they had clinched a playoff berth with a Texas loss to Anaheim and Terry Francona said after such a long and grueling season the players deserve to celebrate the accomplishment. Um, it's just it's a long year and it, for them to let it loose like that together. I like it. Um, it, it, I think it's good for them. Uh, winning should never get old. 
you know, everybody in that room knows this is not our ultimate goal, but it is still an accomplishment, and you enjoy it, and then you move on. That manager interview was brought to you by Big Low Tea, Terry Francona's green tea of choice. Don? All right, Heidi, thank you very much. As the Red Sox have five regular season games, including tonight, remaining before they get started. Chris Woodward getting a start tonight out of the number nine spot at second base. 221, no homers, five runs batted in. And the question still remains what day will they open up against the Angels, whether it be Wednesday or Thursday of next week? The Yankees, of course, will make that decision for them. Ball four, and Woodward down to first base. First walk given up by Roy Halliday. Tonight's game is brought to you by Comcast Town. Don't forget to stop by Comcast Town on Yaki Way during your next trip to Fenway Park. One out, Chris Woodward at first base. Top of the order, Joey Gathright coming up. The usual walk for Roy Halliday. He walks a former teammate of his, Chris Woodward. Tigers have scored four times and took 4 2 lead against the Twins. Twins had scored twice. Slaps at it, fouls it off. 0 and 2. Up the middle, Hill flips to second for one on the first for two. They get them both. Red Sox are retired in the third. We played three. It's five nothing, Toronto. As the Red Sox game day live gets started at 6 p.m. Then we move over to the WB Mason Bruins face off live. Bruins against the Hurricanes. Bruins overtime live after that. And be sure to finish your day with Sports Desk on Nelson Plus Saturday. Red Sox game day live at 6. Red Sox against the Cleveland Indians at 7. Wrap it up, Grand City Electric. Red Sox final.
Aaron Hill leading it off for the Toronto Blue Jays as he takes ball one outside. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Fernando Cabrera. Makes his fifth appearance, no record, 4.50 ERA. Pitched in four innings, 250 opponent batting average. To Wakefield tonight with three innings. Yeah, just called up yesterday by the Red Sox. Had 22 saves in AAA, which was second in the International League. Aaron Hill hits one high and deep to left field. Back and off the top of the wall. That's Reddick plays the carom quickly, but into second base with a stand up double goes Aaron Hill. His second hit of the night. Almost did another home run. Yeah, I didn't miss a home run by very much. Right off the top of that left field wall on the fastball from Cabrera. So Hill at second base for Kevin Millar. He has walked, flight out to left. Line on Tim Wakefield tonight, three innings, giving up seven hits, five runs, walked two, struck out two. And went through 76 pitches through three innings. Six pitches. Pilar hits a hot shot and a hop to short. Gonzalez fires to first for the out. No advance for Hill. And there's one down here in the fourth inning. Well, you go to one to Don, you know, whether you see Wakefield again at all. I mean, it, there's no question that the, that thing is bothering him bad. You can see him limping around out there. And it has to affect your pitching. And a couple of tough outings. Tough times in between trying to get ready for those outings. Such a valuable asset when he's right for the Red Sox, no doubt about it. You've got to give him a whole lot of credit just going out there and, and trying to pitch under those conditions. We will find out in the coming days, and if that is indeed his last start, a very good season for Tim Wakefield, an all-star for the first time, 11 and 4 season. Vernon Wells takes a pitch outside, the count evens at one and one. Up foul ground. Qatar is coming back, but he won't have a play. And for Fernando Cabrera, previous experience in the majors with the Cleveland Indians, four seasons, two seasons as a member of the Baltimore Orioles, and his first year here in the Red Sox organization. One two to Vernon Wells to left field. Reddick coming in, sinking fast. Reddick makes the good running catch. Hold it up just to top of the shoelaces that time to make the grab. Two down. He covered quite a bit of ground too to be able to come in and make that play in left field. Breaking ball from Cabrera, and you see Reddick gets a pretty good jump on it as he starts to head in. And he makes the catch just about knee high. Two down Aaron Hill at second base and Lyle Overbay the batter. 
Walked in the first inning. And a home run in the third inning. His 16th home run of the year. Tenth home run of the series for the Blue Jays. among the Toronto Blue Jays who enjoyed the series against the Red Sox four for eight in the home run. Takes the strike and it's two and one. So far from Cabrera we've seen the fastball around 90 91 the slider and the changeup. Three and one to Overbay. They're into this game in the fourth inning. Red Sox having to get into that pen. Wakefield surrendering five runs in the first three innings. Ball four and a two out walk for Lyle Overbay. Third walk given up tonight by Red Sox pitching. There's no month in sports quite like October, especially in Boston. Go to Nessa.com slash Catherine to find out why Catherine Tabbitt believes Beantown is the place to be for sports fans right now. That's Nessa.com slash Catherine. Two down here in the fourth inning. Runners at first and second. Now Barajas says flight out to left and struck out swinging. Hope for two. Blue Jays tonight have one more trip to make. It is to Baltimore to finish out their season, leaving after the game. They on the road this year, 30 and 47 away from the Rogers Center. And wrapping it up after an off day tomorrow, the three game series against the Orioles. They'd probably rather just go ahead and play instead of having an off day this close to the end of the season. Wrap it up. It's been grounded foul in Cito's direction as that one fouled off to make it one and two. Disappointing for the Blue Jays who are 28 games back of the Yankees at this stage of the season 74 and 84 10 games uh, under 500 Ironic that they're playing some of their season's best baseball here at the end They've won five straight games and nine of the last ten One two is grounded a deep third Lowry dives gets up long throw will get it there in time Had the catch of Barajas running makes a nice play and the Blue Jays strand a pair we played three and a half five nothing Toronto
Josh Reddick, Casey Kotchman, David Ortiz. Bat here in the fourth. Reddick struck out swinging in the first inning. The only K tonight for Halliday through the first three. Down the line at first, but guarding the line was Overbay. He takes it himself for the first out of the inning. Always high in the innings department. The league leaders brought to you by Olympia Sports. He's got 233 and a third. There's one out here in the fourth inning. Justin Verlander's second at 232 and a third. And King Felix. Felix Hernandez out in Seattle, third in that category. Lucy Kochman standing in and taking strike one. Gosman grounded out first base in the first. A strike call from Mike DeMiro, and it's 0 2. And Halliday doing his thing to this point in the game, mixing up his pitches, hitting corners. Kind of the lost art of complete games. I mentioned eight of them on the year for Halliday. Since 2003, he has posted 43 complete games, the most in the majors. And 17 more than the guy who's in second, CC Sabathia, who's got 26. So fouled off to the left, and it hangs at two and two to Casey Kochman. There was a time when 26 would be in a season. <laughs> Those days are long gone. Losing Holiday has always had that mentality, though, to go all nine every time he gets the baseball. Never easy to get the ball out of his hands. 2 2 is fouled off to the left. We're talking to John Gibbons, his former manager, who's now the bench coach for the Kansas City Royals. And we're in Kansas City. It was always a tough decision for him when to take Roy out. Certainly wanted to keep him for the entire year fresh, but just a horse. Side ball three full count. On the ground foul outside of first. Ball four, second walk given up by Halliday tonight. It's a one out walk to Kochman. Free online banking at Citizens Bank is now easier and safer than ever. So save time and get more control over your money today. Go to citizensbank.com slash bank online. One out Casey Kochman at first base. David Ortiz the batter hit by a pitch. And Roy Halliday in the second inning. Here to be retaliation for Adam Lynn being hit in last night's game. Uh, credit Halliday, too, if the Blue Jays truly were trying to do it. Where he hit him was in the side and low. Pitch number 47 of the night for Roy Halliday. He's outside. It's one and one. David Ortiz with six career home runs off Roy Halladay.
It's the outside corner Ortiz does not agree and it's one and two back to a breaking ball that time from holiday picking up apparently the outside corner. Mika thought it was a little bit away. But not to Muro. Swing and a miss. Big Poppy strikes out for the second out of the inning. It's only the second strikeout of the night for Roy Halliday. Those strikeouts have come on breaking balls. One to Reddick in the first inning. Now the curveball again to David Ortiz. Two down Cotsman at first, and here's Rocco Baldelli. Reached on a fielder's choice in the second inning. 0 for 1. Strike to Rocco. On the ground at Aaron Hill. At second base, he'll pick and throw in time to retire Ball Deli. Red Sox have gone on the fourth replay for it's five nothing Blue Jays. Back at Fenway Park, it is five to nothing. Toronto Blue Jays on top of the Red Sox. Toronto on top, and out hitting the Red Sox eight to nothing. Andy Ruiz with a swing and a miss to begin things here in the fifth. Ruiz with a single in the second inning, homered in the third. With two home runs tonight for the Blue Jays. They continue to pound the baseball. Driven to deep left center field. And off the bottom of the wall, Joey Gathright guns it back in on the ricochet. But into second base safely with a double. And his third hit of the night is Randy Ruiz. Well, Ruiz just a triple away now from hitting for the cycle. Gets the fastball down and in from Cabrera right off the scoreboard. Well played nicely out there by Joey Gathright. But the double for Ruiz to start off the fifth inning. He's at second, nobody out. And it's time for Travis Snyder. Single in the second inning, popped out to short in the third. Up 
Action of the Red Sox pen, Dustin Richardson, we saw the other night make his debut, winning in a third inning his major league debut on Monday. Called up from the Paw Sox earlier in the day. And warming in the pen. Two and oh to Snyder. Ball four and down to first base goes Snyder. Second walk given up by Cabrera. Sample the wonder of it all. Mexican Cantina meets rock at the Scorpion Bar. Enjoy authentic Asian cuisine and dance the night away at Shrine or simply relax. Enjoy live music at the club or atrium bar. There's something for everyone at Foxwoods. Each ball coming out onto the field on the right field line. The cause for the delay. Smiley face beach ball. He's not smiley anymore. Inside of John McDonald for ball one. He has had a sacrifice bunt tonight. And been hit by a pitch. Drops a bunt down, but it goes foul down the first baseline. Down one and one. Second time tonight, McDonald's uh, tried to execute the sacrifice, did so back in the second inning. Blue Jays ended up getting two runs in that inning. Up the middle and into center field, a base hit for McDonald. Ruiz coming around from second base. Throw is going to be off the mark. And a run in for the Jays, who now lead it six to nothing. I think another run here in the fifth inning. John McDonald this time. Well, McDonald tonight with a sacrifice bunt hit by a pitch, and now the base hit up the middle. Slider that stays inside up the middle, and uh, McDonald picks up his 11th RBI of the season. And out comes Terry Francona. Be the night for Fernando Cabrera with nobody out here in the fifth inning. Jays on top, six nothing.
in second with nobody out for the Toronto Blue Jays who lead it six to nothing. New pitcher is Dustin Richardson, 45 minor league games. To a two mark, 2.55 earned run average. Mentioned he made his major league debut here the other night on Monday, being called up from the Pawtucket Red Sox earlier in the day. His numbers are between Double A Portland and Triple A Pawtucket. Comes into a six nothing game, and it's Jose Batista over three in the game. He leads it off and takes strike one. In the dirt gets away from Kataris and the runners will move up. Snyder takes third base. McDonald takes second base on the wild pitch on court by Dustin Richardson. Richardson tries to snap off that curveball bouncing and right at the flex off the glove of George Kataris. A couple of men move in a scoring position for the Rays. Uh, excuse me, the Jays. So Snyder at third base, McDonald at second, nobody out of run in. And a 1 1 to Batista. To center field, Gathright on the run, headed back to make the catch on the dive in the triangle. Nice play. Tagging at third is Snyder scoring the seventh Blue Jays run and taking third base is McDonald. But a nice running catch in the triangle by Joey Gathright. Yeah, Joey Gathright had to cover a lot of ground to get to this ball. Just to reach out and then fall down on that outfield track. Quickly gets it back in. They were thinking about maybe scoring that runner from second base. That's just the first out of the inning. Runner in third base, and here's Aaron Hill. Flight out to right in the first inning, singled in the second, and doubled in the fourth. Sharply hit, diving at short as Gonzalez from his backside. The throw is not going to be in time. A run in from third from John McDonald, who scores, and a great bid there by Gonzalez at short. But it's the Blue Jays who jump on top now, 8 0. Gonzalez just could not get to his feet after making this outstanding diving play. He tried to get up, but then stumbled. And once he did that, he could not quite get enough on the throw, but what a play. Just to get over there on one hop and make it that close. Still one out in the inning. Three runs in. Hill at first base. And Kevin Millar, the batter. Millar walked in the first inning. Fly to left in the second. Bounce to short in the fourth. Strike two and it's one and two. Danvers Bank, we tailor our commercial loans to fit the needs of businesses of all types and sizes throughout New England. Now open in Central Square, Cambridge, and coming this fall to Waltham in Boston's Back Bay. To learn more, visit danversbank.com. Danvers Bank makes sense. One out, Aaron Hill at first base. Dropping the baseball in his delivery is the pitcher Richardson in the box charged. Aaron Hill will take second base. That was not pretty. 
You don't see that happen very often, do you? And the first block here. It was released the ball, the home play. Looked like he wanted to throw a change up. And boom, right out of the hand. So the bill at second base, one out here in the fifth. Or fouls it off, hangs it one and two. On the ground towards Gonzalez at shortstop. He fired a first for the out. That is out number two of the inning as Hill takes third. Well, tonight after Sox coverage, soon in Anessa for Sports Desk, brought to you by FW Webb. When remodeling a bath or kitchen, turn to FW Webb showrooms at Frank Webb's Bath Centers. Host Cole Wright and Beaver is the Bruins' home opener against the Capitals tomorrow night. We'll get a look at the Patriots' week four preparations against the Ravens. And Mikey Adams is in the house to play take it or leave it. It's all coming up after Red Sox coverage. Down and in, ball four, and down at first base goes Wells. First walk given up by Richardson. It's first and third, two down, and this will bring John Farrell out to talk to Richardson. So the block and then the four pitch walk, and so he's had him at the corners with two down. It's time now to bring up to speed with the AT&T Rapid Rewind. Lyle Overbay, one of two home runs tonight for the Blue Jays. His two-run shot in the third. The Jays on top, four to nothing at the time. They have tacked on four more. Eight at eight, nothing. AT&T, the nation's fastest 3G network. AT&T, your world delivered. At the corners with two down for Lyle Overbay. Overbay walking in the first, the home run we just showed you in the third, a two run shot. And then walked in the fourth. With third, Wells crossed the diamond at first. Everybody had a single against Richardson on Monday. Back at him, up the middle, Gonzalez fields and throws in time to retire the side. But a three run inning for the Jays in the fifth. It's 8 nothing Toronto.
Justin Masterson and his return to Fenway as an Indian. It's all coming up tomorrow at 6, only on Nesson. Well, it's time for the last half of the fifth. Red Sox do not have a hit through the first four innings. Roy Holiday out there to face George Kataris to begin this, the fifth inning. First base on a couple of hops bobbled by Overbay, but good time to recover. Halliday covers for the out. Overbay's had an excellent defensive year over there at first base for the Blue Jays. Only two errors on the season as the Jays first baseman. A little bobble there, but had plenty of time to give the flip to Holiday to get the out. Action of the Red Sox pen, Manny Del Carmen is up for Boston. Ready to use Cabrera and Richardson in relief of Tim Wakefield tonight. Gonzalez fly to right his first time up. Tim Wakefield in three innings gave up five runs tonight. Fernando Cabrera charged with three runs in his inning plus. Gonzalez splits one, the shortstop to run it down. John McDonald back behind second base to make the catch for the second out of the inning. The SBLI A-plus performer of the series is Kevin Euclid. He's on certain times. There is one thing you can count on. Your family's future is safe. With SBLI in Massachusetts. SBLI, the life insurance company, rated A-plus by AM Best for your superior financial strength. Get your free quote today. Euclid's three for seven with a double, two home runs, and four runs batted in in the series. Jed Lowry with two outs in the inning. Routed out to second base in the third. Lowry hitting tonight from the left side of the play. He says with the wrist problem, he's feeling more comfortable hitting right handed. Of course, hitting against Halliday tonight hitting from the left side. To center field, Vernon Wells back there. And through five innings, Roy Halliday has not given up the hit tonight in Boston. It is 8 nothing Toronto. When the Bruins open their season tomorrow night against Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals, you won't want to miss the game. But we'll be bringing you the expert analysis you count on from Nesson. Join Catherine Tappan and Barry Peterson on Red Sox Game Day Live, a pregame analysis, and follow the action with Nesson.com's live blog. Trust us for your Bruins coverage tomorrow night here on Nesson and Nesson.com.
So Carmen, the new pitcher. Tough stretch for Manny. Seven runs allowed in his last five games. Last three and a third. Ten runs in his last nine games. As the pitch misses outside to Barajas. So what's been going on with you, Don? What's new in your life? I mean, Not a lot. Just that I bring something up. The game's kind of boring. <laughs> Not a lot going on. Okay. You? No, 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 not much. Barajas sold for three. Boy, Halliday has got it going on here. The Red Sox have no hits. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he's got it going on right now. There's no question about that. No hits through the first five. Kind of a strange feeling tonight, isn't it? I mean, it's after clenching last yeah. night, <laughs> takes a little bit out. On the ground at third base, Lowry to his left. Didn't throw across in time to get Barajas for the first out of the inning. Now Lowry has been very busy down there at third base tonight, and a lot of them have been diving plays, but that's time a normal. Ground ball to Lowry to get the out at first base. One down for Randy Ruiz, who is three for three in the game. Infield hit in the second. He homered in the third, doubled in the fifth. No problem tonight for Red Sox pitching. Drive to the left, deep, far, and very gone. That clears everything in left field. Randy Ruiz, his second home run of the night, four for four. And no problem for Manny Del Carmen. Manny Del Carmen leaves a changeup up to Ruiz, and man, did he make him pay for it. Here's the changeup from Del Carmen, stays about thigh high, and Ruiz. As Don mentioned, second home run of the night. Nine total on the season now for him. Looks like Bill Titus out there picking up that baseball, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So you go from his camera position pretty quick. This might be one of those nights we have to play uh, celebrity look alike. Something, something's going to happen. This is uh, tough at home, though. You could offend some folks. This basically stinks. One out base is empty thanks to the home run by Ruiz Travis Snyder. And it's three home runs tonight for the Blue Jays. Two for Randy Ruiz one. For Lyle Overbay. Drive towards deep right center field. Joey Gaffrey going back to the triangle. Oh, to stay in the yard, but to the deepest part of the yard. The 420 marker and heading for third base is Snyder. He'll get there on the slide. So a home run now, a triple. First career triple for Travis Snyder as he goes down around that 420 mark down in the corner. Bounces around by the time Gathright can track it down and get it back in. Snyder on his way to third base for the triple. There's John McDonald. A sacrifice bunt tonight, but hit by a pitch and a single to drive in a run. About the problems Del Carmen has had lately. Certainly started the season extremely well. It's really been over the last nine games that he's run into the most problems. Six innings pitched, a 13.50 earned run average. 
something to be concerned about obviously as the Red Sox make out their postseason uh, rotation. I mean uh, pitching staff. I wonder if he'll be on it. Struggling right now. Three innings tonight from Tim Wakefield giving up five runs. Fernando Cabrera went an inning plus giving up three. Richardson an inning. None and now a run allowed by Del Carmen on a home run. As he misses to McDonald for ball three. Top of the order on deck in Jose Batista. To left field. And this will get in for a base hit from third comes Snyder. He'll score. And it's 10 to nothing now. Toronto as John McDonald has driven in his second run of the night. That's yeah, certainly a guy known for his great defense. McDonald having a nice offensive night tonight. Sacrifice got hit by a pitch and back to back base hits. This one to drive in another run. His second RBI of the night. Action behind Del Carmen Hunter Jones is up. Del Carmen has got one out. Got the first out. Barajas to ground out. Since then, the home run by Ruiz, a triple by Snyder, will be a single by McDonald, and it's 10 nothing Toronto. Early in the season, Don Del Carmen's fastball was what around 96 yes. miles an hour. That last one he just threw was 92. Of the ball 2 2 and 0. Oh. Sixty-four appearances for Manny Del Carmen now on the season. Second straight season that he's gone 60 or more. There's a strike two and one. Indians coming in tomorrow to begin a four game series. Which begins at 6 p.m. tomorrow night from Fenway Park. They come to town with a manager who has been fired and all his coaching staff. Kind of a tough weekend for them as they finish out the string. What a strange scenario that is. Indians who are. No longer in last place, but still a very frustrating season in the American League Central. They were picked to do bigger things than they did, and towards the end of the year, of course, trading away. Victor Martinez here to Boston. Cliff Lee going to the Phillies. 3 1 is hit in the air to center field. Joey Gathright going back. It'll take him almost to the track as he makes the catch just shy of it for the second out of the inning. Don't miss the season finale of the Ultimate Red Sox Show. Heidi looks back at the best nine games of 2009. Join Heidi Sunday at noon, just before live coverage of the Red Sox season finale against the Indians for the Ultimate Red Sox Show, presented by Arbella Insurance, here for good. Two down here in the top half of the sixth inning. Two runs in. And Aaron Hill, the batter, three hit night. Three for four, two RBIs. On the grounds, a shortstop, Alex Gonzalez to go to second for the force out. That ends the inning. But two more runs for Toronto. They lead it 10 nothing. Red Sox still looking for their first hit.
Chris Woodward leads it off for the Red Sox here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Austin without a base hit as they bat here in the sixth. Woodward, Gathright, and Reddick. That was pitch number 59 from Roy Halliday. So this is 60. Pitch gone in good shape. Woodward a walk in the third. Strike evens a count of two and two. Tigers on top seven to two as they are in the bottom of the fifth. Troy trailed two nothing at one point in that game. Swing and miss. Woodward strikes out. Third strikeout for Halliday. One down here in the sixth inning. Good fastball here from Halliday to pick up the strikeout against Woodward. Have a trademark pitch for Holiday that cut fastball. One out, six in a row, retired by Holiday. Joey Gathright, 0 for 2. Shoots it to left, and it's in for a hit. First hit of the night given up by Roy Holiday comes after five and a third. Gathright actually looked like he got jammed a little bit on this, but just kind of slices the ball to left field to pick up the first hit of the night for the Red Sox. Red Sox are being out hit 14 to nothing before that base hit by Joey Gathright. Sends it out to right center field. Wells and Batista. It's Wells who steps up, makes the grab. And Gath right back to first with now two down here in the sixth inning. Well, Roy Halladay thing, having things his way tonight in this ball game against the Red Sox. Couple of strikeouts. We'll see. Breaking ball of Reddick. Breaking ball of Big Poppy. It's a ground ball here for a double play. But then the no hitter broken up by Joey Gath right on a slicing line drive to left field. Kochman is grounded out and walked. Up the middle, Aaron Hill will flip to second base for the fourth shot that ends the inning. We have played six. It is 10 to nothing, Toronto.
Defensive changes for the Red Sox. Joey Gathright moving from center field to right field. Into the game in center is Brian Anderson. Jed Lowry moves from third base to shortstop. Alex Gonzalez comes out of the game. And in at third base now is Rocco Baldelli for the Red Sox. So Alex Gonzalez coming out of the game. New pitcher for Boston is Hunter Jones. His 11th appearance of the year. It's Millar, Wells, and Overbay to bat in the inning. So a rip foul back into the seats. Hunter Jones will call from the Paw Sox on September the 23rd, his second stint with the big league club this year. First called up way back on April the 15th. Made eight outings. Including his major league debut, which was on April 20th against the Orioles. First appearance ever for Rocco Baldelli in the infield at the major league level and down at the hot corner. You might get in here tonight, Don. Everybody else appears to be. Where would you like to play? Third would be good, but it's kind of taken right now. You want to, you want to go right to third? Yeah, base? I'd be okay with third, yeah. Don't have to run around a lot. My reaction time is fairly good. Good, good first step quickness. <laughs> Inside the Millar, ball three. Well, the numbers on the board are not pretty. It is 10 to nothing, Toronto on top. They're out hitting the Red Sox 14 to 1. And there is ball four to Kevin Millar. It's the sixth walk given up by Red Sox pitching tonight. Long day, as we mentioned earlier, for Terry Francona going to his son's graduation. Flying back at about, what, two hours sleep, he said last night? That's it. Got in at about 2.30, was up at 4.30. Needs a good night of sleep tonight, he said. Maybe he'll camp out in the clubhouse. <laughs> Done that before, been there. He was swinging a miss. It's 0 and 2. Jones trying to find his bearings. Fouls it straight back, hangs it 0 2. That was when Dustin Pedroia was thrown out at third base. Was that last night in the ball game? Yes, he was stealing. Down by four runs. There's a poster on the wall behind, actually a picture of it on the wall behind Terry Francona. He says, my God, man, easy on the Red Bull. <laughs> Too much Red Bull making him take off at third base. You ever, have, you ever have that Red Bull? No, I never have either. We're gonna try for a game one night. I'm talking a mile a minute. <laughs> the 
Well, as it was swinging a miss, Jones comes back to strike him out. First out of the seventh. Time for a game break, Tom Karen. TC. Okay, Tom, thanks very much. It is a 10 nothing game here where the Blue Jays are on top of the Red Sox out hitting the Sox 14 to 1. Kyle over Bay batting against Hunter Jones. Over Bay walked in the first in a home run in the third inning, walked in the fourth, and grounded out in the fifth inning. Hunter Jones, 25 years of age, from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. And a 2 2. You get one of the best sports sections in the country delivered to your home every day. Sign up now for convenient Boston Globe home delivery. Call 888 My Globe or go to bostonglobe.com slash sports. Runner on and Kevin Millard first base one out here in the seventh. Everybody has walked twice. A two run home run and grounded out waiting on a 2 2. Side ball three, full count. Fourth season now for Overbay in Toronto. Started his career in Arizona. Three seasons in Arizona, two in Milwaukee, and now four in Toronto. Had 15 homers last year, 69 runs batted in. With a home run tonight, he has one more than he had all of last season. Three two is ball four. Second walk given up by Jones in the inning. Seventh tonight for Red Sox pitching allowed. Zaris out to talk to Jones with two on and one out as they prepare to deal with Rod Barajas in the seventh inning. Strike one over the inside corner. Well, 
Baja's been in the big league since 1999. Broke in with Arizona. Pops it up. Right side of the infield, Casey Cotron. The infield fly rule in effect handle is out number two. The Amica Pit Zone is brought to you by Amica Insurance. Get the right auto and home coverage at AmicaCoverage.com. Ruiz, I should say, with two home runs in this ballgame tonight. One off Tim Wakefield. That was back in the third inning. And then off Manny Del Carmen on a changeup. Well, it has been a barrage of home runs by the Blue Jays. 12 in the series. Two tonight for Randy Ruiz. He's four for four along with the two home runs. Got an infield hit to third and a double to center field. He scored four times. Adam Lynn had three home runs last night of the six the Blue Jays hit in last night's game. On the ground toward second baseman Chris Woodward. He'll fire to first for the out. That ends the inning. Seventh inning stretch. It's 10 0 Blue Jays. Time for a sports desk update with Cole Wright. You want to do it? This one? Yeah. I think so. Ten to nothing, Blue Jays on top of the Red Sox. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning. David Ortiz, Rocco Baldelli, George Guitaris. scheduled bat in the inning as Big Poppy takes strike one from Roy Halladay. That was pitch number seventy of the night for Halladay. Shift on for Ortiz on the right side of the infield, outfield about straight away. Of the swing and a miss. Strikes out. Fourth strikeout of the night for Halliday. First out of the seventh inning. Two times he struck out at David Ortiz, and both times have been on the curveball. So three pitches in that at bat to David Ortiz. Action of the Red Sox pen, Hideki Okajima. He's been away for a while for the Red Sox returns, and Okajima is up in the pen. He has not worked since the 23rd at Kansas City. Opposite field, base hit for Rocco Baldelli. The second Boston hit of the night. 
A one out single here in the seventh. Well, Rocco Baldelli, one of those guys that's had success against Halliday in the, in the past. He came into the game a 353 hitter with a couple of home runs. One for three tonight following this base hit. Well, now one on for George Kataris. He's 0 for 2 tonight. He fouled out in the second inning, grounded out to first in the fifth. Let's talk about one base runner reach second base in the game. It was Rocco Baldelli. Back in the second inning, who after reaching on Fielder's Choice in the second, stole second base. That has been it. Talk Don about Halliday right around the trading deadline that he might be moved someplace. It's it's almost sad to watch a pitcher like this not pitch in postseason. Sure, it's very sad for him too. Yeah, it has been for a while. One of the game's best pitchers. Really hoping the Blue Jays would turn it around. Wanted to stay in Toronto. But that thought process has changed. Rajas headed towards the stands, reaches as far as he can go, and makes the catch. Wow, what a play. Leaned in three rows to grab that. Yeah, time to get over there, brace himself, then make the leap. And able to come out with the baseball. Terrific play by Barajas. So two down, and we'll see Brian Anderson at the plate for the first time. Took over defensively in center field. Broken bat. Foul over by the Red Sox dugout. We're here at Fenway Park in Boston. Don Rosillo, Jerry Remy, and Heidi Watney bringing you Boston Red Sox baseball in high definition in Adobe Digital 5.1 surround sound on Nesson. It's been all Toronto Blue Jays tonight. They get two in the second, three in the third, three in the fifth, two in the sixth. Ten runs on 14 hits. That's been the offensive side of the game. Pitching standpoint, Ray Halliday did not give up a hit through the first five and a third innings tonight. Anderson grounds one to third. Millar will go across the diamond. Low throw, but it's dug out by Overbay to end the inning. Seven done from Fenway, 10 nothing Blue Jays.
with us immediately following tonight's game for W.B. Mason's Extra Innings. We'll listen in on Terry Francona's live post-game press conference. TC and Eck will debate Tim Wakefield's postseason role. Plus, we'll get complete post-game reaction in Red Sox Clubhouse Uncut. It's all coming up right after the game. It's called to the bullpen. is brought to you by the 2010 Fusion Hybrid at your New England Ford dealer. Dekio Kojima into the game becomes the sixth Red Sox pitcher of the night. His 68th appearance, 3.30 earned run average. And again, his first appearance since the 23rd. So seven days ago, came home from the trip. And some stiffness in his side and back out there to throw his side the other day. And into the game tonight. Fly ball to left field off the bat of Travis Snyder. Reddick out there to make the grab for the first down of the inning. Action in the pen for the first time tonight. Dirk Hayhurst, who we saw up earlier in the series, and Josh Reddick. 81 pitches through seven innings tonight for Roy Halladay. This would be Halladay's last start of the season, right? Yes. He will pitch again. For John McDonald. Two hits tonight from the number nine spot, two RBIs, both singles for John McDonald. Off and it's two and one. Dekio Kojima with six wins out of the Red Sox pen. Most by a left handed Red Sox reliever since Tom Bergmeier. Had seven wins out of the pen back in 1982. And now career high 68 appearances for Okajima on the season. Kojima, what flew back from New York, got some acupuncture, and then flew right back to join the ball club at the Yankee Stadium over the weekend. First appearance in seven days. Fly ball to deep left field. Josh Reddick is back there with room. And he makes the catch. In fact, the first two of the inning, two down. It's almost that time of year. Book your family, corporate, or employee holiday party at Fenway Park this year. Please contact the events department at 617-226-6791 or email events at redsox.com. Two down here in the eighth. Jose Batista, the batter, 0-4-4 with a sacrifice fly. It was driven in two runs tonight. Five runs given up by Tim Wakefield in the first three innings. Fernando Cabrera charged with three runs in an inning. And Del Carmen two runs in one inning. Also seen Dustin Richardson and Hunter Jones. Seven walks allowed tonight by Red Sox pitching. Along with 14 hits for the Blue Jays. So plenty of base runners tonight for the Jays. Josh Becky getting ready for his next start. Final tune up. High drive to left. More home runs for the Toronto Blue Jays. Batista joins the party. It's the fourth home run of the night for Toronto and an 11 to nothing lead.
Now Batista really cleaned out an inside fastball here from Okajima. That ball down and in. And he shoots it out of here in a hurry. The 13th home run of the series for the Toronto Blue Jays. Some of these hitters are going to hate to see the season end. <laughs> Two down here in the eighth. Aaron Hill, the batter. If you came into this series and took a look at these two teams and wondered which one was headed into the postseason, <laughs> and you didn't know, you'd have to say it'd be the Blue Jays. And they'd have a pretty good chance to win. <laughs> Doc Holliday out there every day. But instead, they are 74 and 84 and 28 games back of the Yankees. And have been eliminated for a while. How'd you like to be on a ball club 41 and a half games out of first place? Wow. That can't be a lot of fun. Things have been really ugly lately for that ball club. The Orioles have lost 12 in a row. This one popped up foul out of play. One and two. 30 runs scored by the Blue Jays now in this series against the Red Sox. Red Sox have scored 12 total. People probably think of where was this in July and August? Hill pops it up the right side. Chris Woodward, step or two on the outfield grass, puts it away and ends things here in the eighth. The run on the home run by Batista. 11 nothing Toronto on top. Eleven to nothing. The Toronto Blue Jays on top as we head to the last half of the eighth. Roy Halladay back on the mound. That was pitch number 82 for Halladay on the night. Jed Lowry 0 for 2 as he takes a strike over the outside corner 0 and 2. That is seven plus tonight. Just two hits. One for Gathright. One for Baldelli. Strike three call. Here's the fifth strikeout of the night for Halliday. One down here in the eighth. Now, this really has been vintage Halliday tonight. I know it's been a reduced lineup for the Red Sox, but I mean, he's made all the pitches he's wanted to. Curveballs, cut fastballs inside, straight fastballs, a couple of changeups. When he's on, he just makes it look so easy.
Fly ball out to right center field. Batista to his right, and he makes the catch for out number two. The time now for the Coors Light freeze cam. Rupper Oz last inning reaching three rows deep to make this grab on the foul pop up. And a very nice catch, a catch of the night. Coors Light freeze cam brought to you by Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Two outs, eighth inning, four in a row, retired by Halliday. Joey Gathright, top of the Red Sox order, one for three tonight. One of only two hits for the Red Sox. And we have seen a couple of position players pitch this year for the Red Sox. This one down to third. Millar picks it up and Gathright will reach his second hit of the night. There's currently a position player for the Red Sox warming in the pen, Dusty Brown. One of the four catchers the Red Sox are carrying right now. Why don't, why don't you take the mound in the bottom in the uh, ninth? I'm tied up right now. Forget third base. Go to the mound. I think I'm going to sit Dusty down now. High fly ball to right. Batista moving to his right, and he makes the catch that ends the inning. Red Sox do get a hit, but at the end of eight, trail 11 to nothing. Ninth inning, 11 to nothing, Blue Jays. And the Red Sox use their third position player to pitch of the season. It's a new record for the Red Sox. The most previously was twice back in 1928. This year it's been three times. Jonathan Van Every did it uh, in Tampa. Nick Green here at Fenway. For two innings, in fact, Nick Green. And tonight it is Dusty Brown who makes an appearance here in the ninth. To right center field for Millar, and this is in for a base hit to start the ninth for the Jays, their 16th hit of the game. Coming up after the game, stay tuned for Granite City Electric's Red Sox final, where we'll get the latest on baseball's remaining postseason races. PC and Eck will examine the Sox potential postseason roster. We get a preview of John Lester's return to the mound after Friday's scare in New York. It's all coming up right after the game on Nesson. Dusty Brown, the first catcher ever in Red Sox history to pitch. Fly ball down the left field line, foul. Put 
to right center field, and this will get down. Over to play it is Gathright. He'll gun it back in. It'll be second and third. Nobody out. A double for Vernon Wells. Second double of the night for Vernon Wells. Third hit of the night. Two doubles and a single. Nobody out for Lyle Overbay. He has walked three times, hit a home run. Chops it to first base. Kochman will win the race to the bag at first to run in from third in Millar. And it is 12 to nothing, Toronto. The first out in Dusty Brown's career is Lyle Overbay. And the Jays tonight with 17 hits. The only guy without one is at the plate, Rod Barajas. 8 4 5 in the game. He's flied out, struck out, grounded out twice. And popped up. No change at that time from Dusty Brown. Let's see what else he's got in his bag of tricks. A pop up. Shallow center field for Lowry. And there's two down in the inning. And now Brown pitching to contact. <laughs> so two down here in the ninth. <laughs> Is he repeating his delivery too? It seems to be. I like that one. That was good. That made my night. There's a strike from Brown. It's one and one. Elevates that time, and at 80 gets it by him. One and two. He's sneaky fast. That's how he got Barajas. He get that change up down and the fastball up. Wow. Strikes out Ruiz. 12 nothing Toronto. Twelve nothing Blue Jays on top of the Red Sox. Roy Halladay trying to go all the way for the ninth time this year. This is pitch number ninety. Well, it's inside. It's 
giving up only three hits all night. Falling behind Kochman, two and zero. Oh. There was a strike, two and one. Kochman has grounded out, walked, and reached on a fielder's choice. In the hands for ball three. Holiday coming into tonight's action, 16 and 10. On the ground right side, Aaron Hill to his right. And there's one away. Boston Red Sox baseball in Nesson is brought to you by New England Ford dealers. Duncan Donuts. Sullivan Tire. The New England Kia dealers. The Subaru dealers of New England. And by Southwest Airlines. One out here in the ninth inning, David Ortiz, the batter. Into the shift go the Jays. Ortiz hit by a pitch in the second. Since then, he has struck out twice. Both times swinging. Ron Culpa said he didn't go, and it's one and one. Two and two. That's the pitch that's given David Ortiz a lot of problems tonight off Halliday. That breaking ball struck him out twice with it. Marco Baldelli has got one of the Red Sox hits tonight. Waits on deck. Two two to David Ortiz. Strike three call. Out on strikes for the third time tonight is Ortiz. Two down in the ninth. Yeah, twice on curveballs, this time on a fastball on the inside corner. Red Sox down to their last out as Rocco Baldelli, one for three in the game tonight. All the two hits for Boston, both for Joey Gathright, single to left, single in the infield. Strike one over the outside corner. Holiday with his major league leading eight complete games coming into tonight and out away from his ninth. To shortstop, John McDonald rounds behind it. And the Red Sox are swept by the Toronto Blue Jays. Complete game shutout as the Red Sox lose it 12 to nothing. <laughs> 